What's up? It's Ron DZ Rondell, West Coast. I'm always West Coast. Man, once again, it's on. How y'all doing? Y'all doing all right? I'm doing all right. What you thinking about? I'm having this family issue with one of my parents, and their birthday was August 8th. They're a Leo person, and I'm an Aries person. My birthday's April 17th. And I don't give a shit if y'all talk, say shit like, oh, this nigga talking about zodiac signs and shit. That's some feminine shit. No, nah, people, people talk about it. People talk about it all the time, men and women. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we're having this family issue where my dad is trying to tell me what I can and can't talk about on the internet. He keeps bringing it up in the conversation. I'm like, I called you for help and yeah you helped me out but don't don't sit up here and yell at me and hang up on me he hung up on me you know what I'm saying I'm like you brought this shit up I'm like didn't my stepmom tell you to stop watching my videos and he found out that I do YouTube because my brother told him and I told my brother don't tell nobody I do YouTube I'm trying to keep my shit underground you know what I'm saying? Until I get it set up where I have a website and make a fucking, uh, turn this into like a media business type thing. You know what I'm saying? In the future. Because I'm not going to be on here at 50 years old and not have my shit set up right. You know what I'm saying? I'll put myself out there. Now it's time for me to start reaping the benefits of my labor. You know? And... I don't like having fallouts with him, but I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm just be honest. My dad don't like me because of shit I say on the internet sometimes. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think I get along with a lot of black men that are up under a black woman too much. He like black women. I like white women. That's going to be an issue. You know what I'm saying? Because black men tend to end, end, they tend to act like black women. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that shit with me. And stop watching my shit, Dad. Stop it, man. You keep bringing it up in the conversation. Every time we squash it, you bring it up again. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, God damn. We're talking about one thing, and then you start talking about some damn YouTube? That has nothing to do... I'm in crisis mode. I got midlife crisis. You know I stay in the fucking hotel. You know I get unemployment. You know I lost my job back in April. You know what I'm saying? It's not like I live in the kitchenette where I can cook food and shit. All my shit is done by microwave. You know, I needed your help because that goddamn cop pushed my checking account into the negative. And once I go to court on Wednesday, this this coming week, I'm going to get $400 of that back to put back in my account. My, my unemployment is going to come through somewhere on Tuesday to clear up that negative balance. And I can stack and I, and I can start looking for a job and just, just get on with my fucking life. You know what I'm saying? You don't like me. And, and the thing is, I ain't going to say I don't like you like that, but I can, I can see that shit. Black people like drama. They like drama. I shouldn't be 48 years old talking to a 70-year-old dad of mine that's hanging up on me when he started it. I didn't yell at him or nothing. I just told him, I said, Dad. You you supposed to be sending me something, and we and you keep bringing up YouTube. Why are we talking about this again? I'm like, God damn. And I'm 48. I'm not that young kid no more. God damn, Dad. I'm almost 50. And you sitting up here uh, criticizing me over certain videos I do. Stop watching my shit, man. Sick of this shit, man. But see what it is, see my dad got that that Chicago mentality. He's from there and he created me in uh Inglewood, California. That's where I'm from. So I got a West Coast type vibe to me. I'ma say what the fuck I want to say. You ain't gonna tell me what I can and can't say. I love you, but goddamn, you need to stop. You keep starting shit with me. Why you fucking with me? I don't fuck with you. Why you fucking with me? I'm sick of this shit. This shit is not healthy, man. I don't even call you or bother you like that. And you keep fucking with me. When you get a chance to talk to me, you want to play games. 
you know, I asked him to help me out with some money if he can, and he was going to send it on Wednesday. And I said, no, not that. I said, I know, I know that you got other stuff going on. Uh, I'm really going to need your help by Sunday. If you don't help me by Sunday, then I'm fucked. And it's like it got down to the last minute. He said, "Okay, I'm gonna send it, but but I don't like that video you said. You know, you you know, you need to you know, don't say that. You shouldn't say that." I'm like, "What the fuck is this shit, man? I shouldn't have to be in that. I don't like conflict, man. I don't. And then you hang up on me. What kind of shit is that? You act like I ask you for money all the time. I don't ask you for fucking money all the time. I'm not around you like that. I ain't around you like that, like that." There's people around you that ask you for more money and, and, and shit than I ever do. You know, if I ever ask you for something, daddy, you know goddamn well I need it. I don't ask you for shit if I don't need it. And I don't bother you like that. I don't ask you for money all the fucking time. You know I don't ask you for no fucking money all the time. Most of the time I ask you for advice on certain situations. Well, yeah, he hung up on me. Because cause I stood my ground, he hung up on me.